Hello, I'm Dr. David Hawkins. I am a licensed clinical psychologist. I'm the director of the Marriage Recovery Center. I want to talk to you about narcissism and entitlement. If you've been with someone who has narcissistic personality traits or worse, narcissistic personality disorder, you know about the issue of this man's gargantuan ego. And this huge ego, born out of insecurity, born out of childhood development issues, born out of perhaps even success in life, has led him to believe that he rules the world. So this man who uh, sits on his own throne and kind of directs the world, uh, and directs the people in his world, and believes that he should be able to do that. Now, don't be fooled because on one level, he is charming and he's able to lean in and tell you that he really cares about you. And by the way, he does care about you. He does. He doesn't care well. He doesn't love well. But he cares and he loves to a very limited extent. This man is emotionally immature and... Out of that immaturity and lack of insight, he can't see that treating people as puppets and directing them and controlling them is incredibly dishonoring and abusive. It, it, it's obvious to other people. It's perhaps obvious to you as you stand back and look at this. It's obvious when you feel the smallness of your life in relationship to the largeness of his life. But he does feel entitled. He does believe that he's entitled. And remember that entitlement is a defense. And so this defense guards against him feeling insecure, feeling out of control, feeling inadequate. Because at some level you know that this giant man is really just a little boy. And this little boy, it, it's a bit like a five or six year old, you know, it's screaming and just saying, you can't make me do this, you can't tell me to do that, you can't take my toys away, you can't, you can't, you can't. And he throws a fit, and your man may really indeed throw fits. And just like that six-year-old boy, he says, I'm entitled. I deserve this. I deserve the world to be the way I want it to be. And that's the way it ought to be. And he really cannot see because of his, this is the skin that he lives in, you understand. This is the water he swims in. So when we sit back and say, can't he see how much he gaslights and controls and manipulates and rationalizes and justifies and acts entitled, can he see it all? He can see little bits and pieces of it, and even then, unless he's really, really confronted, he is not going to see much of it at all. And so he ruins and wrecks relationships and ruins lives, and, and he ends up alone, and it's absolutely tragic. Short of significant intervention. So entitlement. You know, if you're with a man who acts entitled, believes he's entitled, and treats you as if he's entitled, that is not likely to change without really significant intervention. And you know, you're watching my videos, you know that I talk a lot about intervention, and you're going to have to decide, does this man have narcissistic personality traits? Does he have the full narcissistic personality disorder? And entitlement is one of the symptoms and you can look and you can measure it and you can see to what degree does he act entitled? To what degree does he sit on his throne and direct people and control 
those around him. And more important, and this is the most important question, you know I'm asking this a lot, and the question is, to what degree is he influenced by intervention? So, he won't change without intervention. No question about it. He's not going to change by you pleading, complaining, uh, yelling. It's just not, he's not going to change by that kind of behavior. So, be careful not to do that. If you're going to stay with him, if you're going to stay with him, it will require you to intervene. And that's going to take a really significant process on your part. It's going to take incredible conviction, incredible clarity, incredible support. But it can be done. And then with intervention, when he loses that person that he is so dependent upon, that's you, and yes, he is dependent upon you, these little boys, they're, they're, they're not so big when uh, the person they care about walks out of their lives. I've seen that thousands upon thousands of times. And so when the bottom drops out, then we see to what degree will an intervention be effective. So don't tolerate him acting entitled. Don't tolerate him being entitled. Don't tolerate him thinking that he is entitled. If you're going to stay, and that's a question every person has to answer for themselves, then I want you to really, really get expert help that will help you to bring an effective intervention to bear. And then we can find out after the intervention has happened, after the bottom has dropped out, then we can find out how much can this little boy grow up. Because growing up means we don't run the world. We don't order people around. We don't demand our way. That's not what emo emotionally mature healthy relationships are all about. Okay, I know you're gathering information, you're trying to figure out what to do, and I am writing about this topic, I am talking about this topic, and I want to talk to you about this topic. You can email me at drdavid, D-R-D-A-V-A-D, -A -A drdavid at marriagerecoverycenter.com. You can go to my website, marriagerecoverycenter.com, and watch some of my other videos as well. And let me know what you think. You know, inform me. You're living it. Uh, I'm seeing it. I'm counseling couples all the time about it. But uh, I'm always interested in hearing more and learning more about it. Okay. Good luck to you. Take care. God bless.